Yo. Oh, my head's chopped off. Hey. <sighs> Let's try that. Is that good? Okay. Well, anyways, what's up, y'all? Um, it's been a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know that, like, some people really rely, not rely on me, but, like, they look forward to these videos. And so here's what happened, okay? <sighs> Honestly, last year during prep, I realized this the other day was that I was like, why don't I like, why do I have such a problem recording content? And it's really just because when Vincent was with me, he would bring out the camera every single day. We would record whether we wanted to or not. Um, but it was always him that did it. Like he would set it up. He would get the mics ready. He would just hand me a mic and I would talk. And it's, <laughs> it's not that I'm, like, lazy about it. It's just that, for one, I lost my camera stand. And now we found it. So I finally have it. But even just setting that thing up is, like, I just don't want to do it. But, um, anyways, so that helps a lot, having the stand. So now I don't have to use Tyson's wobbly one. Um, so we have that. And then also, I think I just went through, it's crazy, like, during prep, the amount of changes that you make so fast. And that comes with, like, the weight loss, that comes with the lack of, not lack of food, like, I'm still eating a lot, but it's just, you know, lack of, like, like, you're still hungry, <laughs> Even when you eat, you're still hungry. So it's just clean eating. It just eventually, mentally, it gets hard. And I think what happened was um, just a combination of like being on prep and then my period hit me and it was really bad for me mentally this time. As far as like the way I was feeling, the way I was acting, I was letting outside factors affect how I was feeling and how I would act towards people and I just I really didn't I didn't like myself I didn't want to record um so anyways so we're we're here now um I'm feeling a lot lot better we just had like such a good word on Sunday and I I have to share this because I made a video about other people and their the reason for doing bodybuilding, but I realized that I never shared my own. Well, actually, I did in season one. So if you want to go back to season one, I think it's like episode two. So I shared why, like, why I came to bodybuilding last year. But I guess it's changed a little bit since now I've done and or now I've won and now I'm I'm still doing it. So like, why why am I still doing this? What keeps me going? So um, okay. So, this is what it says. Alright, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24. Do you, not, do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the same game goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. So I've, I've come to realize that like bodybuilding for me is not about the money. It's not about the crown. It's not about how I look in the end. Although those things like are factors into it, there, it's just a plus. So I'm running this race against myself. And really, I'm doing this for the love of the sport, for the love of the the wonderful things that God has created our bodies to be able to do. And this it's just something so incredible that, like, not many people are strong enough to do. A lot of people cannot handle this. And I like being different. I like being different when it comes to my training. And I like being different when it comes to my faith because... Not everyone is going to proclaim, proclaim their love for God. 
and their love for Jesus and what he's done in their lives. So I'm starting to shift my mindset towards that rather than, oh, I'm competing, like, I, you know, I got to look a certain way, which I do to be able to win. Like, I still want to win. But what am I really winning for? Who am I really winning for? So, yeah. And it's such a good feeling. Like, I'm on day two of no carbs. Could you tell? Probably not because, like, I have this fire in me now. And, and the word from Pastor Sandy was she was just telling us, like, we just have to run. We have to run in our lives. There's six months left of the year. It's like five and a half. Time is going by so fast. And what are, what are we doing? What are you doing to advance to the next level this year? What are you doing to hit your goals or be the best that you can be? Like, why are you waiting so long to start what you want to start? You know, just this, and this just pertains to me and my life too. You know, I, I feel like I procrastinate a lot and it's, it's just like self doubt and fear. But why, why have fear when I have God? living in me through my breath through my lungs like so yeah I have this new like peace in me and it's only been a couple of days but like I feel like a completely different person it's crazy um anyways whew. okay um so we're gonna take this pre-workout we have a new inhuman this is the blue iced gummy it's so good um I actually want to mix it because yesterday I tried it and I think it would be better mixed. So it, it almost tastes like the the ghost blue raspberry or blue sour patch kid, whatever that is, which is really good. Not my favorite. I like the red one better. But I when I tried this yesterday, I dry scooped it and it was like it's really, really good. But I just feel like the the whole flavor would be better if I actually drank it. So, also, I really choose to record the days that I have like the least amount of time. But I'm I'm glad that I'm doing this, and that's something that you really have to delegate to with with prep is time management. I have to do an hour and a half of cardio this week, and. I've only done 30 minutes, and it's 2 p.m. Um, I just, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my busy days, but you know what? We have a Planet Fitness membership, which is, like, literally a five-minute walk from the house. So I have no excuse. I'm going to go probably end up doing my hour later tonight because I just don't think I'm going to have time. Um, But we are doing back today. I also learned that I record... (laughs) mostly when I'm doing back, but it's okay because I'm going to start recording more. Um, and yeah, t- leave me in the comments, like what kind of content y'all want to see too, because I, I have almost, what is it now? Hang on. Cause I, I saw it the other day and maybe it's changed again, but y'all are subscribing. Y'all are liking, y'all are commenting. Like this is, it's just so much fun to be able to share with you guys and I have 128 subscribers now. Oh my gosh. Like what? I never thought I'd be growing a YouTube channel. Go back and watch my very first video. I guarantee you like, you're gonna be like, what was she doing? What was she thinking? That was just the start of it all. But here we are a year later, almost like a year and a half. 128 subscribers since I actually started like trying and promoting my YouTube. Anyways, we got to get this workout done, y'all. I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm blessed to be here. Blessed to be alive. Blessed to be able to move my body today. I just need a little bit of energy. Okay. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Mm, that was really good. Mm. It's like kind of sour. Damn. It needs a little more water. 
It's really sweet. I feel like that's... It's literally like the Sour Patch Kid. The, the blue one. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's really good. Hmm. That was perfect. All right, we gotta get this workout done. Try 